Hello everyone, I'm glad you are here joining me for another lesson. Today's lesson we will talk about prayer. God wants us to talk to him. Memory verse Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, which means request with thanksgiving present your request to God. When you have something exciting or important to share with a friend, how do you communicate? Hmm. You talk to them in person or call them on the phone. Sometimes I write letters to my friends. Do you need to send a special invitation to talk with your friends? Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. How would you feel if every time you had something to talk about with your friend, you had to make an appointment or send an invitation? I would probably feel sad or mad that I can't talk to them. We don't need an invitation to talk to God. God wants us to talk to Him. When we talk to God, it is called prayer. God desires to have a relationship with each of us and an important part of any relationship is communication, which means to talk. God has established prayer as a means for us to communicate with Him. Through prayer, we can praise God, ask for forgiveness, thank God for all that we have and let our requests be made known to Him. Prayers allow us to open our hearts to God and let Him know our innermost thoughts and desires. We are eager to communicate with anyone who will listen to us, but sometimes we feel others don't care about our thoughts, our concerns, our opinions, and our feelings. That is why God wants us to talk to Him. God gives us many examples of prayers in the Bible. We can talk to God about everything and anything. The Bible gives us hundreds of examples of prayer. One prayer from the Bible that many people know is called the Lord's Prayer. We're going to spend the next few weeks learning about this prayer. But first, let's look in the Bible to find a few other prayers. Here is a list of prayers in the Bible. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. This prayer means, when you feel worried or anxious, Prayer can help you calm down. Let go of your worries and fears and give it all to God by talking to Him. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This prayer means, Shine with love and mercy, Despite being or feeling weak, God wants you to light up the world and brighten someone else. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This prayer means... God wants us to be strong and brave when horrible things happen. God knows it is difficult for us to stand tall and have faith, but wants us to know that God is always with us. He is always protecting us. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 and 38. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. This prayer means God loves us very, very much, that He gave us His Son Jesus. 
God wants us to love him with all our hearts, our soul, and our mind. 1 Chronicle chapter 29 verse 13. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. This means we can thank God in many ways, like giving us life and a home and our family and friends and food and many other ways we can thank God for. And sometimes I make my own prayer. Father God, please be with me today and every day. Help me to learn. I pray that I will be good friends to those around me today. Amen. God doesn't want us to worry about anything. God wants us to tell him what's going on in our lives and let him take care of it. Wow, this is a wonderful list. It shows us there are so many ways and reasons to pray to God. Our list also helps us see that prayer is more than just saying words. It's thanking God for everything that we have. It's a special way of communicating everything about our lives with God. And best of all, God wants us to talk to him. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and for listening to our prayers. We're glad that you want us to talk to you. Help us to talk to you every day this week, no matter what's going on in our lives. Amen. So remember, God doesn't care how we communicate with him. We can write letters, speak, or even think of what we want to communicate, and God hears us and understands us. God never gives us a busy signal or says the words in our letters aren't spelled right or tells us to come back later. No, God is never busy for us. God hears our prayers anytime, any place, anywhere. God wants us to talk to him, so he's made it easy for us through prayer. We're going to be learning about prayers and the Lord's Prayer for several weeks. Let's start keeping track of what we're praying about and see what God does in our lives and in the lives of others through these prayers. See you next week. Bye.